Hello everyone, my name is Felix Ajakin, co-founder and CEO of Akasha Service. I'm really excited today to show you the effects of our game-changing diamond pooling technology on GPUs. Today, I'm going to compare the performance of the NVIDIA RTX 4070 GPU with and without Akasha's diamond pooling. Right here, we have three setups. The first is our control, your standard issue GPU chip directly from NVIDIA. It has not been modified by us in any way. The next two are the same NVIDIA GPU chips, but they are enhanced with our proprietary diamond cooling technology. What makes our diamond cooling so special? We've integrated diamond with the silicon inside the assembly to quickly dissipate the heat at the source of the heat. All three stations are running the same demanding code under identical conditions and with the same fan speed locked to make sure that it is a fair test of our diamond cooling technology. So this is the stock NVIDIA GPU unmodified by anyone. And here you have the GPU operating the code and the backgrounds. The GPU temperature is at 60 degrees C. The hotspot is at 72.5, which fluctuated a little bit, about one degree or so. Now it's at 72.4 degrees C. The fan speed is at 1311 RPM. And the base plate temperature is at 41.5 degrees C. Here we have the NVIDIA GPU system but this one has been modified by Akash with the Akash diamond cooling technology inserted into the assembly. What you can see here is that the GPU is now at 53 degrees C. The hotspot is at 62.6 degrees C. The fan is running at 1315 RPM. And the base plate temperature is at 44.4 degrees C. And here we have another assembly from NVIDIA, a GPU that has been modified by Akash. We've inserted the Akash diamond cooling technology into the assembly. And so now we have the GPU temperature now at 53 degrees C. The hotspot is at 62.6 degrees C. And the fan speed is fixed at 1312 RPM. Base plate temperature is 43.4 degrees C. So in summary, the NVIDIA stock GPU is sitting at a GPU temperature of 16 degrees C. The hotspot is sitting at 72.6 degrees C. The base plate temperature is sitting at 41.5 degrees C. And the fan speed is sitting at 1323 RPM. In comparison to this unmodified stock, we have diamond number two, where we have the Akash diamond inserted into the assembly, is sitting at a reduced hotspot temperature for 42.8% less than the reference and the GPU is sitting at 54.1% less than the reference. Diamond level R is sitting at 45.7% less at the hotspot compared to the reference, and the GPU of Diamond level R is sitting at a temperature that is 60% less than the reference unmodified from NVIDIA. These numbers showcase the improvements of the Akash modified diamond assemblies of the GPUs in comparison to the unmodified assemblies from NVIDIA. What does this mean? If you use diamond cooling, you can reduce GPU temperatures by up to 50 to 60%, sharply boosting compute capacity by 200 to 400% compared to standard NVIDIA chip assemblies. This isn't just cooling, it's gateway to unparalleled performance enhancements. Join us in this incredible journey at Akash Systems as we continue to push the boundaries of what is possible in hardware performance and thermal management.